Hello mega exercises, this is the muscle lady here to remind you to exercise your muscle. Hashtag exercise your muscle. I'm so excited. So we have been talking on the series Sharpening Your Pencil. We've identified that we are all coloring pencils brought here on the earth to make the world a more beautiful, more colorful place. But we can only make our mark in the world when our pencils are sharp. That simply means that the gifts and the talents that we are naturally born with they can only be beneficial to us and people in our world when we sharpen that skill, when we get better at what we were naturally born to do, right? So you come here as a blunt pencil, you come here with potential. But potential can get you nowhere until you take that potential, you sharpen your skill, then you're able to make the mark that you were created and brought here to make. So... I'm excited because now we're going to be starting a new series. This series is called The Caterpillar. So what's so interesting about The Caterpillar is that it goes through a process called metamorphosis. So this is a Greek word which means transformation or change in shape. So we're going to look at the life cycle of a caterpillar, right? First, it starts as an egg. An egg is laid um, on some plant and then it transforms or changes into shape into a larva, right? Which is the worm-like insect that we see. So the, 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 the caterpillar, right? And then after some time, you know, there's a lot of process that goes into um, it then transforming again or changing into shape into either a butterfly or a moth. Now, this is so fascinating to me, but if you look at the whole uh, process of a caterpillar, you can actually see similarities in most things in the world, right? There's this saying that we are all interconnected. Everything in the universe is interconnected. God was so thoughtful, you know, everything is interconnected. We depend on the plants for oxygen. They depend on our carbon dioxide. We depend on plants for food, on animal, you know, so there's this ecosystem. So when we look at the caterpillar, there's something we can learn from this transformation or this change in shape. As you know, I'm going to align this to our uh, muscle, our talent muscle, our gifts that we're given, right? We are expected to transform or change in shape. Think of somebody whom you know and who whom you know and their um, talent muscle is, you know, all strong and they've exercised it and they be, they're able, um, or they what we call stars and we idolize them. If we think about it, where they started to where they are now, completely different. They have transformed. They have changed in shape. So as I was reading up on a caterpillar, right, one sentence that struck me was, a caterpillar is intended to be a butterfly. You know, the way it was designed or it's intended. Like there was intention. When this egg is laid, it's going to go through this transitioning process. And at the end, this is what it's going to look like. That is so um, true for us. When God created us, when he brought us here on earth, he had an intention, intentionally brought you on earth with that gift so that you can transition into that gift and we can benefit from the gift that he's placed in you. So we are all intended to be whatever we are created with, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me, if we look at the caterpillar, so it starts off as an egg, right? An egg is laid onto a plant and then it comes to the larval stage. At this stage or the caterpillar stage is where it, its job is just to eat, 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 eat. So it's gaining all that it can get. It stores it and everything that it stores will be used later at the adult stage. When you start exercising your muscles, so firstly, 
you come here as an egg, right? God created you with this gift and you come here as an egg. So you've got the potential to be whatever you were created to be. But you're an egg. There isn't much you can do. You're just there. You might not even know what egg you are, what um, gift you are, you've got, what talent you have, right? So you, you're there. That's the egg stage, right? Once you, then you transition. So um, something happens, a parent tells you something or some, a friend tells you, but did you know that you do this really good? Or you noticed, I actually love baking. I actually love um, dancing or acting or I actually love numbers, you know? So you notice what gift you have, what talent you have, you're still at the egg stage, right? Then there's a transitioning that happens to the larval stage. That's where you eat, eat, eat as much as you can. So you learn more about this gift that you have. You're more inquisitive. Um, what can I do? Who has gone on ahead of me in this talent? You know, where did they start? So you eat, eat, eat. At this stage, you must learn, 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 learn more about your talent. Be inquisitive, guys. Um, you can't just be happy knowing that you've got a gift. That's good and well, but this you need to now um, do something that propels the transition. You need to change in shape, right? Your talent needs to change in shape from the egg, from the just knowing stage. Now it needs to move to a stage where you're learning. How do I bake... Um, a, a cake that looks like a statue how do i you know like be inquisitive how do i grow learn more um now information is out there guys and most information is free if your uh, gift can um, afford to grow with free education by all means learn invest in this gift now at this stage right at the level stage invest in your gift um learn more if you need to enroll yourself into a tertiary education program please do learn more because at this stage you are learning 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 eating 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 and the knowledge that you gain you store it for the next stage, your adult stage, right? So um, I want us to talk and concentrate a bit more on this larval stage. If you look at the larva or the caterpillar, it's like a worm. And most people want to squash it because, oh, and also it's damaging. So, oh, uh, it's irritating. Um, this worm just moving around, just eating the whole day. What else is it doing but eating? It might look useless, but there's a process. There's something that's happening. It knows it's storing, right? Same with us and our talent muscle. Once we've moved from the stage of knowing, which is the egg stage, as we transition into this stage, now we want to gain more. It's an uncomfortable look, right? You look like a worm. <laughs> okay, not literally. But you might look like, it might look like nothing is happening. It's a worm. Um, it's uncomfortable. Um, you're just gaining knowledge and you don't feel that there's any physical changes that are happening because everything is internal. You're storing up information internally. Um, you're getting contacts, but it might not even physically abound to anything. So at this stage, almost everything you're doing is still internally, right? The muscle internally, that's what you're strengthening. People haven't seen yet that I go to gym. Well, I don't pick up weights, but you know, um, people are, so, so the, the physical changes to what you're doing aren't yet visible don't lose heart think of the caterpillar the larval stage its job is to eat 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 when you're at this stage in exercising your muscle your job is to gain knowledge gain as much knowledge learn from people who have been um, or who have exercised your muscle, their muscle a bit more than you, right? Get a mentor. A mentor is good to have because it's somebody who's gone ahead of you, right? So they can maybe give you tips on how to cut down on time, um, on how to efficiently do some things. Um, go to university. Guys, invest in your talent. This gift that you're given, this skill that you're given that's what god meant for you to be prosperous with to um to to rule and um just be a blessing to other people remember we are not here for ourselves we are here to make the world a more beautiful place so 
at this stage, at the level stage, gain more information, gain as much as you can, be teachable at this stage, right? Go out and source information. Sometimes the information you get, you might think is not even related to your gift. Sometimes it means go and get financial education. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're into baking or whatever, you need to be financially literate. You need to know if I sell one cupcake, when do I break even? When do I make a profit? And then also, how do I save for the future? So it might be that you gain information that you think is not related to your talent or your gift. But at this stage, gain as much information as you can. Because as an adult, when you're making that money or you're influencing, you will need all of these little skills that you needed, right? Like I was telling you um, a few videos uh, ago that I am reading, you know, the books I might be reading right now, they don't sound like they're related to my talent, but it's helping me. Um, it will help me definitely for the future. So at this stage, guys, Gain as much knowledge as you possibly get. Most, some information out there is for free. Um, gain as much knowledge as you can. As you transforming, as you changing shape. So we've changed shape from the egg stage, the knowing what your talent muscle is, what your gift is. We have now transitioned into the lava or the caterpillar stage. So this stage, we are gaining information. Eat, 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 eat. That's the purpose of this stage. This is the muscle lady here to remind you to exercise your muscle. Hashtag exercise your muscle. Thank you for watching this video. I truly value you. If this video had an impact in your life, please like and share the link with your friends and your family. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you will be notified whenever a new video comes out. Click here for the previous series on sharpening your pencil and click here for the series on consequences of not exercising your muscle. Until next time, this is the Muscle Lady here to remind you to exercise your muscle.